Welcome to Flavor Queen. Today we have Anish on my right and we have Ajay on my left. Both are going to be my helpers. We go, we're going to visit, what, which place are we going to visit? Um, Texas. Mexico. Texas and Mexico. All right. Uh, well, we have a Mexican inspired food today. And this was created by, more by Anish. So we're starting off with tacos. We're just doing tacos because it's a long process, correct? So like we said, it's a Mexican inspired dish. So we are using, actually here we have three beans. There's black beans, pinto beans, and kidney beans soaked and boiled and ready. And uh, it's about uh, two cups, which is... And uh, one jalapeno. Yes, which we're not using right now, but later, correct? Pe one red pepper. Mm -hmm. Cilantro. This is cilantro, and this is oregano. For those who don't know what oregano... Don't, so don't lift up, sweetie pie. So this is so oregano. Add onions. Garlic. Yes. Spice sauce, I guess, and onions, mm. peppers, oil, salt, First, add onions, chili powder, and then some chili seeds, powder, and another and powder that I don't know, and chipotle. It's mm. chipotle. And then and this onions, one, this one of us, turmeric. One is chip chipotle, one is cumin, ground cumin, and one and is cayenne pepper. Uh, yeah. Okay, so because we're having Anish and Ajay eating today, we're not going that spicy. So we're taking out the pot. So what, what are the other things that we're adding to, our, to make our full tacos? We're having beans. Beans. Maybe? Beans. We add some potatoes. Some, some tomato. Potatoes. And then we're having corn. Corn. Some uh, guacamole. Vegan. Guacamole. And then fruits. Salsa. 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 And some vegan sour cream. Yeah. And normally it's done with Sorry. cheese, but you don't want cheese. You're both of you don't want cheese. Right? We don't I like, I don't like cheese. Okay, so it's good for I help. Don't, I don't like cheese anymore too. Okay, so we put the power on. We got the stove on there. And I think Ajay wants to do the stirring of the onions, correct? Yes. Yeah, I want to cut the, no, actually I want to cut the cumpy. No, I want, to, I want to cut the cucumber. We, we all will work with everything as we go, okay? So we're putting the oil on the stove, like a tablespoon or less, just a little bit of oil. To that oil, we're adding onions. And this is our onions, all chopped. So we have this going, okay? Right? Okay. We're adding it in. So make sure the children are far away if the, heat, if the oil is too hot, but be very careful and all this needs to be done under adult supervision. Ajay and Anish are very used to helping us in the kitchen, so we are fine with them helping you. Okay? All right, while this is frying, I'm going to do the next step, which is roasted potatoes. So the potatoes. way we're going to eat. Yes, potatoes. Right. For the potatoes, we need, potatoes. I um, used about three smaller potatoes. Can I use some small potatoes? Yes, I, I think already peeled them and cut them. And this is about the size of potatoes I've used. I've used three of them. So I'm going to go ahead and chop this potato into little pieces. And I will be oil. chopping some cucumber. Okay. You're welcome to do your cucumber. Okay, so I got my two potatoes chopped up. So I'm going to, these potatoes have been washed and chopped. I'm going to be adding it into this pot. And we're going to be steaming this for about five minutes. Steaming it? Mm -hmm. there. I'm going to be adding some, a little bit of vinegar. And that just gives it a little bit. So to the potatoes, we're just using some vinegar, some um, potatoes, some onions, paprika, and some garlic powder. So just a little bit, like half a teaspoon of... Um, oh, it's and okay. Can you wash it? It's so okay, we'll wash it. So that's going to be steaming. So I've added some salt in a, a short while ago. And to that I'm adding uh, maybe a quarter teaspoon of uh, paprika. Just uh, for a smoked flavor. If you know Mexican food quite often has a lot of smoked flavor to it. Uh, to that and I'm going to add a little bit of onion granules, oops, 
maybe like a pinch of it and a little bit of that too and that is garlic granules. So I mix them all together and seeing that I boiled it and put it in the fridge last night, I don't really need oil for it. So we have a very um, health conscious, oil free roasted potatoes. See, this is Anish's, Ajay's favorite, correct Ajay? Uh, uh, and favorite? this is also my favorite too. This is your favorite too? Which will go on the side and we can make sauce with it. Yes. We this is going to go into the oven for about 15 minutes, 450 degrees Fahrenheit preheated oven. I'm, I'm adding in um, crushed garlic. That I put in. Yes, you helped me do it. That's right. You helped me do it. Can you do another one? And uh, another one. Okay. I want to do it. It's You're too far away now. You did help me with one. Can I help yeah, you? Quickly, it just went so quickly. I want to help you with these okay. two more. And that we're going to use for the guacamole and the salsa, remember? I think I prefer to, if I, if I have to do this, I prefer to do this with the microplane, which we actually have here. I have a microplane. Yes, you have a microplane too. So can you stir this, Anish? You Ajay? too, Abba. Yes, we all have it. Abba, can I cut this? Like and healthy. Anish and Ajay always take talk about rainbow of colors. So we're concentrating on rainbow of colors. I'm in my, I'm in my so we have that and now we have peppers. Can you see? We cut three different colors. Can you see Anish? What colors are they? So there are orange, red and yellow. Yes. Can I put it in? You may be too far yellow, away. Ooh, red. there we go. And we just stir that for a second or so. Have I can stir? Sure. Yes, but very slowly, very slowly, so it doesn't fall off the stove, okay? There we go. Very nice. Just for a minute or so. To that, we're adding so half a teaspoon of, what is this? This is cumin. Cumin. Roasted cumin. It's uh, more aromatic when you buy the actual seeds, do it at home. Yeah. But we're doing it all shortcut today. There we go. Half a teaspoon of roasted cumin and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. You don't want it too hot, right, Anish? No, I do not like my food too spicy. Right, you don't want it to go too spicy. Only Dad likes it spicy. Only Dad likes it spicy, okay. And we have, I'm putting a pinch of chipotle because um, I don't want it to be... Mm -hmm. I'm putting a pinch of chipotle. Thank you, sweetie pie. I'm going to cut this. We're going to need that only for the... Smash. Yes, good job. Crush it. And this is smoked paprika. Again, another quarter teaspoon. So, like I said, um, in my mind, Mexican cuisine has a little bit of a smoky characteristic to it. Hence, we put all of these little things. Okay? So if you notice, I've used the chipotle, the, um, um, a little bit of paprika, um, a little I bit of... I want to cook now. Yes, you will in a short time. And then to that, we, I'm adding um, um. oregano. We normally would do one teaspoon of oregano, but here we're doing a tablespoon of, a teaspoon of dried oregano. But today we're using a tea tablespoon of fresh mm -hmm. one, seeing that I had it in my garden. There we go. And can you not touch that because it's going to burn your fingers, sweetie pie. So had I had chipotle sauce, I would omit the chipotle um, powder and I would just add chipotle sauce. But I don't have chipotle sauce. So I'm adding like a two tablespoon of um, crushed um, tomato. So we cook that down a little bit. Thank you, Baba. This is my first cooking class with Ajay, full class, right? Lesson into work. Okay, we're now adding in the beans as well. So we have to let this cook for a little bit. And I had a new recipe uh, with, with, uh, for a burrito with, with, with that only has a, that, a, a, a cassava flour burrito, almond flour, I think almond flour, oh, yeah. Almond flour Abba, burrito. You and find this, this spoon for Martin? No, yes, and I did. It's, and, uh, it's done, it's done, it's stirred now, Papa. And Thank we you. are 
it. it yeah, mm -hmm. and, and it's an almond flour one, which I really like. And you have to put peanut butter and jam in it. Or if you you have that for out, breakfast sometimes. Or if yeah, sometimes. And if you ran out of jelly or jam, uh, you could. If yeah, you, you, you ran out of jam, it's fine. You can use your jelly. Mm -hmm. But if it if you ran out of uh, if you ran out of a jelly, you can yeah. use your jelly. But it's just you. But but uh, it it you can make it for breakfast or snack. That's right. And you got your peanut butter to give you protein, correct? Yes. Oh, Anish did, Ajay did a good job in adding the salt all over, right? So we're going to let this simmer for a little bit. While that's happening, you know, I've already said I pre-boiled the potatoes and now it's in the oven and it should be ready any minute now. So this is, um, I think it's ready. It's just, just a little under fork tender. To be um, to get into the oven, can you see? It's just like it's boil for about five minutes, and it's all ready. There we go. I've taken the potatoes. It's ready. It's all come out of the oven, all nice and uh, crispy, and ready to eat. So I'm just going to be putting it to the side so we don't burn anything. Um. So Anish has just reminded me that he likes to have a Anish. red sauce over his potatoes and his taco. So we're adding one more st thing to the step. So you want to cook yours on the side, Anish. Yeah. So we're going to be putting that on and uh, hopefully it'll go very quickly. Got to put our power on first, right Anish? Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go up high and then, uh, yes. Good job. That's more yeah. than enough. So to that, Anish, you want to add a little bit of onion. While Anish is going to be doing his oh, are you sauce. sauce, Ajay is going to be making the corn. So all we're going to do is heat the corn. Right, Ajay? Put it inside there. Careful. I didn't mean all of it. Oh. Because That's I have to make some guacamole, remember? So we need some guac guacamole. Because we didn't do, think about this at home, we only thought about it here, remember? There we go. Good job, Ajay. Good job. It's like a crane, Ava. Hmm? Like, it's like a crane, like how, like a long, like a long boom that goes. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're heating this corn through with a little bit of water. And then that will be ready for our... Do you, do you want to add a little bit of salt, Ajay? Do you want a little bit of salt? Yes? Yeah. Okay. One, one little tip. Hey, there we go. That's more than enough salt. Okay? And then we cover that and leave that to cook. Correct? And that's now ready. Maybe we'll add some garlic granules. Oh. That's okay. We shouldn't be doing that, right? Some roasted cumin. You shouldn't be doing that too. You should be using a spoon. Let's use a spoon for the paprika. Shall we do that? Yeah. Do you want some more smoked paprika? No, it will be too spicy. You think so? Yes. Just a little bit. Like a pinch, literally a pinch. And seeing that you cut some of the peppers, let's add that to it, okay? I see you added it. You, you're very brave to cut this without even taking out the seeds. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's cut it short. I'm using Anisha's knife. knife. Can I put this in? No, we have to cut it smaller. See? We're cutting, chopping up the jalapeno. Right? I'm going with that. Okay. Ooh, just using some tomato. Yeah. There we go. Maybe a cup of it. Yeah. Right. I can be cooking. Mm hmm. Okay, and then you're going to be adding some salt to that and we're all ready. Oh, maybe too much. All right, we're cooking our little sauce. And our corn is ready. Right now, we're starting off with guacamole and 
seeing that they have about the same ingredients, I'm going to be doing it concurrently. So this is what happens almost always when you buy an avocado, especially when it's organic. I don't know why, but that is how it works. So <laughs> unfortunately, unable to reuse that one. But I got this one ready, which I cut up and have ready to use. Good thing I have my open arm. Yes, and then that's you're all supposed, good. You're supposed so to slice it up like that. Yes, I sliced it up. So you want to take it out of the spoon? In. Can you take it out? Oh, yes. And uh, one more thing. We have to have a preheated oven and you put um, the tacos in for about two to three minutes. And Murli is kindly going to do that for me. Murli is Anish and Ajay's dad. I normally would start with the... Um, um, the tomato and onions, but I guess Anish wants to get this out of the way, so we'll do that. I've already pre-sliced them inside. Can I show what I've done? One second. I've taken the knife and I've just done this. Yep, that's how you're supposed to, that's the way to cut it. Right, and I'm just taking it out now. Using a knife is a little better than getting it out because it's a little easier to just take it out hmm. and peeling off the skin. Okay, so the one way to prevent this from getting brown is to do what, Anish? Um, keep it in the fridge. And we use, um, we use lime juice. Yes. And that's why we got this tool. That is to get with the lime, you are right. But you okay. can use it for lemon or anything yeah, that you just need to squeeze that's so hard to squeeze out. Okay. So we have our knife here and you try it? I'll show you. So to the um, salsa and to the guacamole, I'm adding a little bit of tomato. Good job for trying, Anish. Can I try for you? Sure. Good job. Thank you. Again, it's li lime juice to taste, you know. If anyone likes sour, you can use like lemon juice, but if anyone doesn't like sour, you don't have to use lemon juice, oh, right? Okay, it's only for making it sour? Yeah, okay. you can make it sour or just to get right. One like, second, sorry. Or you can, or just like a sweet taste or like, yeah. Okay, so while we uh, got that one going there, we're putting a little bit of this one, right? Tomato. Tomatoes. And then Anish is going to add this little bit of onion, onion to the guacamole. And I'm going to add a little bit of onion here too. Uh, like two tablespoons or so. Purple onion, right? You could use your spoon to take it out, sweetie. Bye. No. Okay. And I'm going to add a little bit of jalapenos. Not too much because... Because, uh, you know guys, I don't like spice. Yeah, you know, guys, Ajay the Anish doesn't like spicy. Yes, I do. Not. Too spicy. And here we have chopped up cilantro. Oh, the two minutes is already up. Okay. So we have a chopped up cilantro we're adding up here. Okay. And here. And what else do we put, Anish? We add a little bit of uh, garlic. Yep, we add a little bit of garlic, okay. which we'll be squeezing out inside. Mm -hmm. I added the garlic right now. We'll add some jalapenos to the salsa too. Yep, that that'll be nice. Yep. Okay. We putting a little bit of jalapenos in this one too. Do you want some lime juice in this one too? In the salsa? Yeah, we yeah, can. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. We have some more here. Oh, okay. Okay. A little bit of lime juice and then salt and pepper. And, and we're all done. Yep. If you notice here, I put fresh um, garlic. Here I'm putting a little bit of no, crushed garlic. There. Just to show that you can do just about anything you want to. Just be careful. And I'm putting some onion flakes. Onion flakes? Mm -hmm. out. I can mix it up. Mm -hmm. Guys, um, I actually like ravioli and I usually use onion flakes. So, so I use uh, onion flakes as a seasoning for my... Uh, for my for my ravioli. Oh, ravioli too. Yes. Okay. Okay. It's just to give Anish a little bit more, but one one avocado should be more than enough. Yep. One or two should be enough. Yeah. One or two or three should be enough. Hmm. 
The finer we cut it, the easier it's going to get. Yes. Okay. Hey, we got chunky guacamole. What do you know? Right? Now for it not to Wait, be... You just, you, you can put, I like actually red pepper in uh, my guacamole, which tastes really nice. And Can I put some for you? Do you want me to put some? Uh, yeah. And uh, it, okay, it just gets the avocados uh, and... It just gives the avocado a little more taste away from the avocado, and really, I don't like avocado, but but it well, but because th that's why I put peppers in it, oh, just really? to take a little bit of taste away. Oh, very good. Okay, this is all we are have for now. Right. So this is our guacamole. guacamole, cilantro, cilantro for our kale. That's not kale, sweetie pie. That's uh, romaine lettuce. This is salsa, salsa. cucumber mm -hmm. sauce for the potatoes, sour cream, the beans that go with the, the tacos, corn, and the potatoes. And we got some fruit. And we got the taco shells over there. And we got some more cilantro. So, Murali, can you pass me the green tree uh, taco shells right there, please? A whole, whole, whole bowl of your whole yep. container of it. <coughs> so, we already and warmed this, this for two to three minutes in a 350 oven. We've made this into a little salad, which is uh, guacamole, and we made some salsa. And the children like to snack, so we have cucumbers and we have the fruit for them to snack on. This is, um, like Anish said, romaine lettuce shredded, corn, um, yeah, potatoes yeah, roasted. And um, uh, three bean salad, uh, sorry, cooked into a curry. So here we have our complete set, right? And Ajay is going to help make a taco. Okay. This and yes. this and this and this. Okay. All, All right. This. So what we normally do, Ajay likes to put a little bit of, Please. this is vegan sour cream. So we put it on the... On the he likes to put it like that, right? Very, very, very sparse. Correct, Ajay? Yeah. So what are we putting next? Mm. Some beans? No. Yes. Yesterday mm. we put some beans. No, no, no. Okay. This one first. Oh, you want? Oh, sorry, sweetie pie. Sorry. Okay, yeah. This is a sauce. And then we want some potato, correct? Yeah. Okay. We put some potato. And then we're putting some beans. Right? No, no, first. But beans goes first so they get nice color. Remember when the colors of the rainbow? So, yes, it start with yellow. Oh, you want to put the yellow? Okay. And then, mm -hmm. and then cucumber. And then the cucumber, okay. Okay. And you then this. It's cilantro. But the cilantro goes on top, Abu. Oh, you want pepper? Yeah. Oh, wow. Not too much. Not too much. Ajay makes his no num. I don't want this one. Okay, you don't like. I know you don't like cilantro, so I know you like that too. Ajay is making that. Don't put too much of that. It's, it's chili, Baba. That's chili. That is chili, sweetie pie. And then, for lack of a better spoon, we're gonna put this for our. Guacamole. For that, and this is the guacamole. And we have it all. Right, Ajay? I want it a little too spicy. You want a little bit too spicy? No. No? Okay. So this is Ajay's taco. taco. Yes. So aren't you putting it inside or are you putting yours on the side? That's very clever of you. I know what we you know what we you know what we forgot in Ajay's one? What? Some some of this um, kale salad. No, this no, is this kale is salad. you normally love that. I know that you love that. Uh -huh. You want the sauce, correct? Yeah, I want the sauce. Don't you want to put your um? Don't you want to put some of this first? Come on, wait. I need to put my some sauce on the side. Oh, you're putting on the side too? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Right. And then uh, I'll be.
I know many people put dollops of cream on the top, but these children love it to be smeared on the side, correct? Correct, Anish? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can put the sour cream in there, no, no big deal. Uh, it's made any which way you want to. Mm -hmm. I actually like, uh, I don't really like sour cream, so I just put a little bit. And, and uh, if you don't like sour cream, uh, uh, you can put a little, but if you really don't like sour cream, you don't have to put it. That's exactly right. Or everything here is optional. Can you help me? Yes, I can. Uh, yes. Oh, I broke it. Yeah, you got to be very careful with it. I yes, Anish. Yes, Ajay. Can you get me a little help? Uh, a little oh. what? See, we have all the colors of the rainbow, like Ajay and Anish always like to eat. Correct? And I'm just having one with guacamole. Well, I put this one first with the sour cream like the children do, and the next one we shall put some. And of course, I'm topping it with the... Can I put it with your presentation piece right there? It can hold well. Okay. All right, so the next one I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting... some salad first, right? To make it yummier. There we go. Some potato, which is optional again. No need for potatoes if you're trying to keep it. But these are grain free. I forgot to say this is grain free, vegan, gluten free tacos. Right? You managed to do it all, Anish. I want potatoes on the side. Okay, I'll give you potatoes on the side. One second. As you can tell, the proof is in the pudding is all the children are enjoying their food. See, it can be eaten as a, as a salsa and uh, sauce and potato, or even if the, if the tacos crumble, you can use that. If you had uh, burritos, you can put this in burrito too. What else were you thinking, uh, Murali? Uh, you can do like a, a soft crunch. Uh, Closer? Yeah, you can do make, put it like an al almond flour uh, tortilla around it. Put some beans around the outside of it. Put some cheese. Um, get that soft, crunchy. Um, but if you do not like cheese, you, <laughs> you don't need to put cheese. Yes. Anything, everything is optional. Till we meet again, I'm your host, Hamsha Naidu, Anish Ponaluri. No, you're not, you're not your host. You're not your own host. Only me. You're the guest. Anish Ponaluri is my guest. So is Ajay. And so is Bye. Murali. Thank you for saving the day again. No Bye. <laughs> Take Bye. care. Bye-bye. Enjoy the delicious taco. Remember, healthy food means good health. Take care. Bye-bye.